Hello everybody, um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to turn off my camera now, having said hello, uh, due to uh, <laughs> potential internet uh, variability. Um, hopefully you can all see the slides. Could I have the uh, next slide please? So, um, this is the area that the Southwest Energy Hub um, covers. Um, as Paul mentioned, we uh, our key stakeholders who sit on our boards, Cornwall, uh, West of England, Dorset, Heart of the South, Gloucestershire First. And um, the, the way we do it, we have um, five project managers, each specialising, focusing on a particular area. So I have a colleague in Cornwall, a colleague in um, uh, Gloucestershire, and I focus uh, on the Solent area, which is essentially the, the southern half of um, Hampshire, so covering the Isle of Wight, Southampton, uh, New Forest, Portsmouth, etc. Uh, could I have the next slide, please? So, as Paul was saying, essentially we have been tasked with Bayes to facilitate uh, the public sector and community energy groups to deliver more low carbon energy projects uh, on the ground. Uh, and that can be interpreted in quite a um, wide manner. So projects you know, are coming in in a variety of sectors, be that home energy efficiency, retrofit, public sector energy efficient lighting, street lighting, um, business and in industry energy efficiency, uh, all the renewable technologies, wind energy, uh, solar, hydro, etc., geothermal, biogas, biomass. Uh, increasingly seeing projects uh, in the field of uh, low carbon, low emission, um, electric vehicles, hydrogen fueled vehicles. And particularly in the southwest, we're where there are good capacity issues, um, we, we're, we're looking to get involved with projects which can help overcome uh, network issues. Uh, Isle of Wight, a very good example of that, where uh, grid connection capacity is um, is quite an issue. Can I have the next slide, please. So, just to um, review idea of the sort of the way that we work. Um, Paul's mentioned that we do cover a number of grant schemes such as the Rural Community Energy Fund and another grant scheme will be coming shortly, the Green Homes Grant. But the majority of our work is local capacity support where we're essentially trying to give free consultancy support to mostly in the main local authorities but also potentially community energy groups uh, and potentially uh, commercial organizations uh, and looking at the full project cycle project development cycle of a low carbon energy project it will typically go through these stages i show here from options appraisal to business case to design and planning to financing and those are the stages that we can provide uh, support, uh, leaving a project in a, at a financeable point uh, where the local authority could then go on to procurement and delivering the project. Um, so quite a lot of our projects have been at the feasibility stage, producing an initial business case, uh, which a, a, an officer could then take to their management team to get internal council resources released to develop a, a much more detailed business case which could then go to cabinet uh, for an investment decision um, but we can work at any of those stages and and indeed um, 
we do do quite a lot of ad hoc support to organizations looking to develop projects. Could I have the next slide, please? I should mention that we do have a, a prior, prioritization mechanism. Obviously, you imagine we do get a lot of interest in, in having our support, uh, and people can simply you know, send us an email to the hub or to me with their project that they're working on, uh, and we'll give them uh, such support that we can uh, on an ad hoc basis, and then we would then move on to um, checking that it meets all of our objectives given to us by Bayes, and then we can potentially give much more substantial help in terms of our time. We're, we're a team of experienced um, energy practitioners, so often we can give right feasibility study or business case ourselves, but where we don't have the skills, we have a discretionary budget where we can go out to the market and procure a, um, a specialist consultant for on behalf of um, of the client. So at the moment, we have a a long pipeline of projects on our on our system that we're reviewing. Initially, they came from the energy strategies that the um, local enterprise partnerships undertook in 2017, 2018, but now really we're moving on to people coming to us with possible projects that they have. And uh, as I say here, we've got over 100 on our list, which we're prioritizing at the moment. Uh, and I'll be worth 50 million. And we'll probably actively tail on about 10 projects. Go to the next slide, please. So, bit of a delay there. Yes, the next one might be helpful just to give some examples of the sorts of projects of the Southwest Hub that we've been doing. Paul will give you some examples from the Southeast of the Hub in a moment. Um, one of the major ones I'm working on at the moment is advising four councils, Eastley, Isle of Wight, Cornwall and Bath and North East Somerset. Each of them has a major urban regeneration site uh, where they want to maximize the utilization of on-site renewables. Uh, and heat generation, uh, and the question being how to finance those over and above what the developer is willing to pay for. So we're funding a, a £40,000 study uh, from a specialist consultant on how to set up ESCOs at each of those major development sites in order that your solar, your ground source heat pumps uh, can be commercialised um, over and above what the developer could fund. And we're doing other um, assessments. So, for example, in Dorset, we've done energy audits for a number of GP surgeries. What would be the best energy efficiency renewable energy options for them? We're doing a multi site renewable energy assessment for Bath and North East Somerset Council. I'm about to start a specialist consultancy piece of work for the Science Museum in Wiltshire, um, looking at setting up a new hydrogen electrolyzer next to their solar farm, uh, both to produce hydrogen for heating purposes on site, but also as a public hydrogen vehicle refueling site. And we get a lot of um, interest also in looking at solar sites, solar farm sites, um, rooftop sites, uh, and, and battery, um, grid scale battery projects. So we did an interesting piece for South uh, Gloucestershire, who were reviewing the potential for them to invest a couple of million pounds into a private sector project 
uh, so we were able to help them re review the financial model, the assumptions, uh, uh, and able to give them some independent advice and confidence in their business model so that they could properly evaluate that uh, investment. And we also get a lot of interest in reviewing the potential for councils to put solar over their car parks. Uh, and finally, good example, Plymouth Council, City Council, uh, we were to help them review uh, several school sites to replace the fossil fuel um, heating with uh, biomass boilers. Could I have the next slide, please? So just finally, I mentioned we have this more than one stream to activity. The majority is that the sort of that sort of consultancy role where we're not giving out grants, but we also administered a separate grant awarding scheme, the Rural Community Energy Fund, whereby community groups can apply for up to £40,000 for a feasibility study. Uh, and community groups being charities, um, trusts, community benefit societies, that sort of thing. But also, f f f for in this case, parish councils and town councils qualify. Uh, uh, and it's proven quite popular for parish councils to look at the village hall, for example, the school and the church, uh, the feasibility of renewable technologies so that's wind solar hydro etc uh, and these are some examples of the projects we've 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 funded and organized a soon wanting to look at ground source heat pumps at six schools another hydrogen electrolyzer project this one on the isle of Wight, where additional solar is very expensive to connect to the grid they're looking at the potential for using spilling excess solar generation into a hydrogen production facility uh, and then selling that as transport fuel. Uh, and EV networks are very popular uh, and, and solar farms as well. That's We have two more application deadlines, mid-December and mid-March for that. Uh, and certainly in the Southwest, we still have plenty of budget available. Uh, so that's up to 40,000 for a feasibility study. And if that looks successful, community groups can then move on to phase two, where they can apply for up to £100,000 uh, to help them write the planning application and complete the business case. So that's, a, in my view, a very uh, useful grant scheme for community energy groups. I think that may be my last slide. So I shall say thank you very much and pass 